Hello everybody. Welcome to Luke Taylor Reacts. I'm here with a special guest, Hannah. Hey everybody. So if you don't know, Hannah is a member of the band Skullhammer. Now Skullhammer is our band, of course. We have the album Tiger's Tale here on the channel. And Skullhammer is very inspired by Ginger. We're going to react sure. to Ginger, Pit of Consciousness. Now, um, I would say probably our favorite Ginger songs on King of Everything are... I Speak Astronomy, personally. I Speak Astronomy, yeah, for um, sure. And Pisces. Words of Wisdom. Words of Wisdom. So we did want to blend. The cool thing about Ginger is they have female vocals with really heavy progressive elements. And that was very inspiring. So we wanted to do that. But I have to ask you, this is Pit of Consciousness from... Macro, which is their new album. This is the mm. third single. Have you heard Pit of Consciousness? I have not. I have heard nothing from this album. I have not heard it either. And it, uh, right before this, there was a single um, on the top. And I chose to react to this one because this one's a little more artistic. Hmm. So I, I, I know, you know, if you know Hannah, you know she's a very artistic person. So, um, Pit yeah. Of Pit of that Consciousness. That sounds pretty intense. So, you guys ready? Special Let's guest do here. it. Okay, so... First time. Put ginger on the screen down there. Here we go. Pit of consciousness. All right. Napalm Records. You turn it up. We got a black and white video. A really beefy groove. I like the double kick groove within that riff there. Mm, there we go. Listen to that face. It's a cool face line. Okay, so that little chorus section sounds I found like King of Everything. The mixing is different though. This Those guitars nice. are massive. You feel like groove. Oh, she's in white, so I think that's the first time I've ever seen her. Okay. I sure I like that shot with the lighting, that's cool. Uh-oh. That was a really good switch in time signature. That's pretty cool. I like that. Some really nice visual effects here. They're very subtle. Those screams are good, man. Cool riff. Stillness. 
Oh, the again. not the water. Bad water. <laughs> Hair. Again with that double kick. This is gonna rain. Dang, there's the end of wow. it. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna stop that video. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. What do you think? Well, Just it, it's stop right away. Definitely not too much different from from the previous album. I mean I was like definitely mm -hmm. ginger, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I'm like, you got the clean vocals, you got the screaming. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they didn't do just screaming or just clean. Right. Um, what about you? What do you think? Okay, well, first of all, I want to talk about, because I guess with a video, I always see the thematic part first, mm -hmm. and in this video with Pit of Consciousness, the Eugene, the bass player, talked about how going to different countries and touring and all these things, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but basically, like, are we really being affected by other people that much? Mm -hmm. are, are our thoughts our own? Are we being influenced? And, like, are we a prisoner inside of our mind? Like, is, or, you know, this, are we a subject to this kind of influence? I'm like, that's actually an interesting thought because it's something that other people deal with. Yeah. You know, like influencing other people. And so I wanted to see how that translated in the video, and I thought they did it nicely yeah. with Tatiana oh, having sure. different looks to being, like, different perspectives. Like, the, the shot of uh, her being lit but with the, the lightning. That does really nice in black and Absolutely. white. Absolutely. It was a really well done video. I think it's probably their yeah. most artistic video, but it's still because yeah. if you know me, you know I love the enhanced performance video where the whole band is together. You have the energy mm -hmm. and we know they're, you know, they're lip syncing and playback and they're able to add a little art there. But it one thing. It looked like a movie. Yeah, it, it, had, it, had, it had a it very was, nice quality. Yeah, it was like cinematography. I'm like, this So whoever great. directed this wonderful job. Um, I do, I do think too, one of the things that was interesting to me is they obviously, they play so much live and they tour so much. Actually, this is shot here on Saturday, November 2nd. No, uh, November 1st, Friday, they were here in uh, oh. El Corazon. Wow. Yeah, so they just played here. Yeah. They're in Portland tonight. And that's like a 300 mile drive. They gained so. a lot of traction in the U.S., which is awesome. Yeah, and so really the thing about, about their writing, I think, has changed because it's not uh, so crazy, some of it. Because, like, if you notice, this doesn't really have any belting. And our favorite songs like Pisces mm -hmm. and I Speak that's Astronomy. True massive belters and so this is more like wise in the writing for playing it live there were some parts there where it's just like -da 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 yeah. and like that's where you can kind of control the crowd and, yeah. and catch your breath so i think that's like their writing is getting smarter for playing live because there's such an in-demand live that. band yeah that's yeah. true and that's i true. will say one thing's really cool uh again by being bigger and being more more visual or more visible i should say you get really cool contracts so uh Roman, the guitar player, is playing an OD guitars. OD guitars are really cool. They're made in Israel by hand. So really? yeah, and they're like really, really cool. Really cool. Like they have like bits of wood taken out of them and cool tops, and you know they look yeah. like they're really pieces of art. So it's incredible. It was great to see every every member of the band. Like they really represented mm -hmm. them well in the video. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. There's some really interesting drum work too, Vlad, with the. Like when you do double kick, because Ginger extremely progressive, mm -hmm. and I, I think Eugene's the band leader. It just makes sense that he is. But um, when they do cymbals, you know, cymbal work. When they don't, I, it's just very interesting. So I think the thing is, is like you get an initial reaction and a feeling right away. So yeah. you guys can let us know what you think of it. Uh, pit of consciousness. I, I think. Ginger's music is so interesting that sometimes I can't really like get an emotional connection right away. Like exactly. I did with, with like, Pisces and I Speak Astronomy, though. I agree. I didn't get that emotional response right away with mm -hmm. this one, but they kept the the progressiveness that oh, they yeah. always have. I'm yeah. like, they've got these crazy time signatures and yeah. bass lines. And They're really I'm good. I'm that. glad that they kept that because yeah. sometimes bands, you listen to an album and you're like, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, like right. if you guys are familiar with Dream Theater, um, the astonishing, completely different direction. So I'm glad that they kept the same direction on yeah, this because yeah. I love it's their I sound. love that. Yeah, it's their about sound. them. So Absolutely. And I did react earlier to the very first song they released, which was Judgment and Punishment. I do have a link for, for that below. If you have not seen that, it was a very interesting video. And I do have an album review for Micro, which was the EP before this. Now I have not 
ordered Macro yet. I don't know if I'll listen to it. This is, again, the third single. The second one I've heard. The first one you've heard. Yeah. So, based on this, we can ask the audience as well. Based okay. on this, would you buy the album? Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Probably go on Amazon later. Okay, well, I was going to say it's out. So, it, it was yeah. out uh, October 15th, 11th, okay. I think. Something like that. Yeah, no, absolutely. For sure. For All sure. Right. I love, the first time I heard I Speak Astronomy, Luke was here. Mm -hmm. I was just like, mind blown. Like, instant connection. So, mm -hmm. I was hoping before hearing this that they weren't going to stray too far. Like, I'm all, I'm totally a fan of people, you know, changing and progressing and, and that's great, but I'm glad that they didn't get, they didn't stray too far from their right. identity as right. Ginger because nobody's doing what they're doing, I don't think. No. I know there's a lot of progressive bands and there's plenty of female, you know, screamo artists. Well, I know they're very inspired by Opeth, but they don't sound like No, Opeth. they don't. And I'm gl really glad that they have the, the mix of her vocals mm -hmm. because I love her voice um, clean and I love her voice screaming too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you can't beat that. So, yeah. yay. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Again, reactions every Wednesday, uh, album reviews every Monday, and then metal news on Saturdays. Of course, Sunday specials could be a cover, could be some kind of gear demo, something. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see Hans' channel, I have a link to that as well. Hope you're having a great day. See you All later. Right, bye.